Our travel in Sri Lanka was touching its end. We were now in our last location, Unawatuna, where we stayed two nights before going back to Colombo and then to Europe. We stayed in Unawatuna as it had many things to do around and Gulf Fort was right around the corner. In this video, you will follow the end of our trip, visiting the beaches around Unawatuna, the Peace Pagoda, the old city of Gulf Fort, as well as some well-deserved chilling time in a hammock or by the swimming pool. But we will also enjoy more of the local culture and cuisine. So let's get to it. We arrived beginning of the afternoon in Nawatuna. The first thing we did was to drop our bags in our accommodation, rent a scooter and then relax for a while. After that, we hopped on our scooter, refueled it, and drove to Gal Fort, an old fort built in 1588 by the Portuguese. It was then extensively fortified by the Dutch during the 17th century. The old fort is filled with old buildings, shops, store, restaurants. We took our time going around it, until its end, where the lighthouse is located. So Tima, you are into buying that nice villa? There's a bit of a construction job here. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, it's falling apart. Location is all great. <laughs> you are at the end. Yeah. Oh yeah. A questionnaire from a student in tourism. After, we aimlessly strolled around, stopping at random boutiques and stores, passing by the old Dutch hospital, the maritime museum, churches, and so on. So we just visited the House of Art and it was super nice. Yeah, it's full of regional. Yeah, you, you think it's only painting inside, but actually it's like a picture. And the guy takes picture of, uh, well... Every, yeah, 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 everything and nothing. When you see the bigger picture, like the whole thing, the whole canvas, I mean, wow. I mean, it's like whatever. And then you just take part of it and it blows your mind. It's like, wow, you wouldn't even believe it. And it's super nice. Later, we started to be hungry, as it was still early in the afternoon and restaurants there were not all open, we opted for a pizza place, which was really good. Unfortunately for us, it started raining, so we slowly visited some final stores and then headed back to our scooter. Hey Tina! Hey Alex! So, how was Gal? It was nice. Yeah, it's cute in the end. Yeah, it's cute. Yeah. Too. Lots of uh, authentic bits of store or boutique. Good galleries. restaurant. Yeah, tons of galleries. Restaurants are a bit though, well, pricey compared yeah. to everything uh, else we've seen so far in uh, Sri Lanka, but well. Mm. That's part of the experience, I guess. Because you are in a European-based city, actually, so... <laughs> well, it was really cool. And we got the first train that we had. Yeah, the first train so far in Sri Lanka. So... Yeah. Was pouring. Free refreshment. Yeah, now it's... Yeah, at least it's much fresher now. Uh, well, the sky there, it's beautiful, though. Uh, 
hopefully it's not gonna be worse than what it is right now so what was before now it's just a little bit and let's hope it stay like that while we drive back because if not if it's pouring on the scooter it's not gonna be fun anyway we even with this rain <laughs> yeah when it's that fun yeah it's not gonna be fun is there water in there? Fool! Fui, off. <laughs> Alright, and we made it back. And that was a really fun experience driving under the rain, in between buses, tuk tuk, cars, whatever trucks or so there were. It was quite cool actually. We don't do it every day, but it was a nice experience of Sri Lanka. And now we're gonna chill during the night anyway. What? What could we do? So, yep. Hey, Tina. Hi. Hi. Yeah, little morning stroll. Hopefully, it's not gonna rain the whole day like the weather forecast said. Maybe it's gonna stay just cloudy. Yeah, well. After breakfast, we chilled a bit, waiting for the weather to turn. What's happening to Tina? Somebody is giving attention to Tina. Is it Poppy? So we made it to Viaya Beach, which is also called Dalawera Beach and actually also Turtle Beach. Small beach, three names, same place super hard to access uh, there are actually no no access everything is private uh, we managed to access it we park on the street and then we walk through a private parking they let us through let's see if we can after that get back that's gonna be another uh, story on one side of that beach there looks a uh, super bad so I guess this is uh, where the turtles are then on that side there, it's where our like, little ropes are from swing. Alright, so let's see what that beach is. Yeah, this is really like a pool actually. Yeah. Because of the rock, it creates uh, like a little pool, like you have I no waves. Well, it's insane how strong the waves are right there and oh, on this beach here it's like super quiet well so here actually you can really easily see turtle and it's actually even hard to stay like a, a good three meters away from them because they come to you and they are uh, i guess super used to and i don't know uh, you have a lot you can buy food you have a lot of people like feeding them so they're kind of like, I guess, more domesticated now than uh, wild turtle, but... So it's insane, like, on how on one side you have, like, more locals and it's not too crowded. And then on the other side, it's full and it's actually mostly Russian. Around noon, we hopped on our scooter and drove to the main street. We opted to have lunch at Social Unawatuna, where the food was quite good and the place super cozy. Beach this morning. Okay. 
Yeah, it was uh, nice. Yeah, it was a nice beach. At one side, the beach, uh, towards the end, it was less crowded, it was a bit more local. It was nice. No turtle, obviously, there. It's so. a uh, powerful uh, fish. Yeah. Small ones. Yeah, and it's super nice to have that natural pool where you actually can a bit enjoy because you know the waves are way too strong. He's not uh, nice to me today, especially. And why is today? Because I'm not good, so everything else is annoying. <laughs> After lunch, we return to our accommodation to rest a while and enjoy the swimming pool. All right, and here we visited the Japanese Peace Pagoda of Unawatuna. It's a beautiful monument, it's a stupa on top of a hill, beautiful views, uh, really worth coming. Though, uh, don't follow Google Map to come here because actually it makes you go uh, kind of all around, uh, the parking is complicated or you have to pay for it, well, you can just go from the other side, which for us would have been uh, three times shorter, by scooter and then you can park in front of it for free so really go until the end and yeah and we'll when we're gonna make our map we'll have pin on it so it's gonna be much easier if you get it four noble truth first one first so. one the truth of suffering mm -hmm. so there is suffering in life yeah, that i know about it the, tr the uh, truth of uh, causing of, su of suffering mm -hmm. and then the truth of end of suffer suffering mm -hmm. and uh, the last one is the, the path to liberation, to freedom. On the way back to our accommodation, we stopped at Society Unawatuna for dinner, which was a really cool place. For our last day in Unawatuna, we started early morning by visiting the Hinuela beach. It was so cool seeing local fishermen. And the walk along the beach was really enjoyable. We then pop by the Talpe Natural Pool, which were right next to Renuela Beach. Here again, the parking was a bit tricky, but we park on the street and then walk through a private lot. After that, we had breakfast and then headed to the jungle beach. After parking our scooter in a private parking lot, we started the little hike to reach the beach. The beach wasn't too crowded and it was really enjoyable. Actually, Jungle Beach has two parts. The one we went to was quite nice. We don't really know about the other one. Around noon, it started raining. So we slowly left the beach and went to Skinny Tom's Deli, where we ate a delicious masuni. We then enjoy a final swim before getting ready and returning to Colombo and then home. And here we are at the airport and, le and luckily we managed to spend almost all our rupees <laughs> buying the soaps yeah. and uh, some um, Kitty? local products yeah mm -hmm. kitu and coffee oh. yeah local yeah. products and a bit of food and we are left with two, 250 rupees which is less than a euro so well, good job for once. We're not gonna bring any money. One day, Prasic. One day. <laughs> yeah, it's already freezing in here. And if you want to save time planning your trip to Sri Lanka and later travel worry-free, 
We created a digital map with over 200 pins, including things to do, restaurants, accommodations, points of interest, trails, routes, and so much more. With this map, you will have all the information you need to travel in Sri Lanka. And guess what? It works on Android or Apple phones, as well as PCs. In bonus, you get lifetime access, as well as all the future updates. So, if you want to know more about our Sri Lanka travel map, we put a link in the description.